Just recently, we had a comparison video of the all-new Apple M1 Ultra with that of Intel Core i9 12900K processor and we did see that for sure Apple M1 Ultra is a better chip when compared to the Intel Core i9 in various factors. The link for that video is in the description, you can check it out. In this video, we'll be comparing the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X processor with that of Apple M1 Ultra. Hey guys, all about technology 24 into 7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. So speaking about the performance, we have around 20 core CPU with 20 threads on the Apple M1 Ultra whereas on the Ryzen 9 we have 16 cores at 32 threads. Yes, there is hyper-threading option on the AMD chip whereas we don't have that on Apple. Speaking about the frequency, as you can see here, it says base frequency and turbo boost frequency for Apple M1 Ultra but previously the last review what I did, I couldn't find turbo boost frequency on the Apple M1 Ultra. The article didn't show that. It just said that the frequency is 3.2 GHz base. That's all it is. We don't have turbo boost, but here it's showing something else. I don't really have Apple M1 Ultra MacBook with me here in order to check that. But this is what it's showing online. By the way, the article to this will be linked in the description. You can check it out for yourself. So speaking about the frequencies, as you can see, it's definitely higher on the Ryzen 9 processor. It can boost all the way up to 4.9 GHz. That's amazing. And speaking about the multipliers, we do have it on the AMD, but we don't have that on the M1 Ultra. So talking about the L1, L2 and L3 cache, as you can see, all of these are here. And the cache memory, the L3 cache to be specific, is higher on the AMD chip when compared with the Apple M1 Ultra. And another thing, you can further overclock this chip, AMD chip, I mean to say, because the multipliers are unlocked, whereas we don't have that capability on the Apple M1 Ultra. So talking about the power consumption, definitely Apple M1 Ultra is more power efficient chip when compared to the AMD Ryzen 9 processor. So talking about the transistors, as you can see we have around 114 billion on the Apple M1 Ultra but we have around 19.2 billion on the AMD. Talking about the FinFit process guys, as you can see Apple M1 Ultra is based on 5 nanometer FinFit process whereas the AMD Ryzen 9 is on 7 nanometer FinFit process. There is not a huge gap here but still Apple M1 Ultra will generate less heat when compared to AMD Ryzen 9, that's for sure. Also the TDP is definitely higher on the Ryzen 9 processor when compared to Apple M1 Ultra. Apple will definitely generate lesser heat, consume less power when compared to AMD processor. So if you're concerned with that part, then Apple M1 Ultra is the processor to go with. So one of the big wins with Apple M1 Ultra is that you get internal graphics that two amazing internal graphics but we don't have that on the AMD yes sadly there is no iGPU on the AMD Ryzen 9 processor you need discrete graphics in order to make graphics work on the AMD Ryzen 9 processor that's a big drawback so speaking about the iGPU on the Apple M1 Ultra as you can see here are the specs on the screen that's pretty amazing GPU that Apple has launched with their M1 Ultra chip it's a 64 core GPU, base clock 450, boost clock is 1296 MHz. We have shading units and all other information is on your screen. You can pause the screen and have a look at it. So speaking about the memory type, as you can see on the Apple M1 Ultra, we have LPDDR5 RAM at 6400 MHz. Whereas on the AMD processor, DDR4 at 3200 MHz is supported. So speaking about the memory size maximum, you can go at 128 GB on both. Talking about the memory channel, as you can see, it's 16 channels on the Apple M1 Ultra, whereas there is only two on the AMD Ryzen 9. Talking about the bandwidth, as you can see, even the bandwidth is much higher on the Apple M1 Ultra. Also, the ECC support is present on AMD, but we don't have that on the Apple M1 Ultra chip. This is what the memory type is on both of these processors. So speaking about which processor is better, 
Definitely it's the Apple M1 Ultra guys and considering that there is no internal graphics on the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X for sure Apple M1 Ultra is the winner. What do you guys think about this? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you guys wanna go for if you had an option? Whether you'd go for AMD or Apple M1 Ultra, I would definitely go with the Apple M1 Ultra, that's for sure. So guys, this was a quick little general comparison of the Apple M1 Ultra with that of AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. The links are in the description box. This is all about technology 24 to 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.